What's up guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here with a beginner guitar tutorial for Waste It On Me by Steve Aoki and BTS. If this video helps you out, hit that like and subscribe button and let me know in the comments below what other songs by Steve Aoki or BTS that you want to learn on guitar. Guys, the first thing that you want to know for Waste It On Me on guitar is that we are going to be in standard tuning and we are not going to need a capo to play this song. The next thing you want to know for Waste It On Me is the structure of this song. We're going to start with an intro, then we're going to go to verse, then chorus, then verse again, then chorus again, then verse again, and we're gonna finish up with one last chorus. And the last thing you wanna know before we dive into Wasted On Me is the four chords we need to play this song. The first one is E minor seven. The next one is C add nine. The next one is G. And the last one is D. And I'll have chord charts for all of those in the pinned comment below for those of you who need them. Guys, Wasted On Me is a great song for beginner guitarists to learn because it just has one chord progression that's gonna repeat through literally the whole entire song. That chord progression is gonna be E minor seven, C add 9, G, and D in that order on repeat through literally the whole entire song. The only thing that's going to change is what we're playing over here on this side for picking and strum pattern. So we're going to start with our intro. For our intro, what we have, this really only plays this one time in the song. It just plays for the intro. So what we're going to have here is we're going to have this strum pattern. We're going to have down, up, and we're going to have that down in parentheses for each chord. And the reason that is, and the reason that those chords C, add 9, and D are underlined, is because we're going to play those a little bit differently depending on where we're at in the song, those chords specifically. So for our intro, what we're going to be doing is for our E minor 7 and our G, we're just going to play down, up. But then for our C, add 9, we're going to play down, up, down. So we're going to add that extra down strum in. So that's what our chord progression and strum pattern are going to be for intro. The only other thing I wanted to add to this, and you don't necessarily have to do this, but there's that little picking part that plays at the end of that progression in the intro, right? So you got down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. So after that D, we have that little picking thing. It sounds like this. And it's really cool. It's a little hard to get to that from the D quickly and then back to your E minor in time to start the next time through the chord progression. So if you don't want to do it, it's totally up to you, but I think it sounds really cool and it kind of makes the intro. So what that is, is we're going to start here on fifth fret of the high E. We're going to slide that up to seventh and then we're going to go back to fifth on the high E and then we're going to go to eighth on the B. And that's it. That's that little picking progression. Then we're straight back into the E minor. Like I said, it's going to be a little bit hard to get back there from that. So, you know, you got that D and then you play and you're back to E minor right away. So it's a little hard to get there super fast. You don't have to include that if you're a beginner. It might be kind of hard to get back to that E minor chord, but it sounds cool if you can make it work. So anyways, guys, a couple times through the intro for Wasted On Me should look about like this. Alright guys, from there we are into our verses. For our verses, we're going to have the same chord progression, E minor 7, C add 9, G, and D, but we're going to have a different strum pattern. So what we're going to have for that is we're going to have two down strums per chord, except for our C and our D, we're going to have an extra down strum. We have three down strums on those. So again, that one's kind of the same thing. That little underlined part, we add that one extra strum to the end. So it's kind of going to look like this. So E minor 7, we're going to go down, down, and we go C down 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 then g down down and then back to d we're gonna do down 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 and then we go and repeat so like i said we just add that little extra strum onto the end for the underlined chords so a couple times all the way through that your verses for wasted on me should look about like this And guys, the very last thing we have for Wasted On Me is the chorus. For the chorus, again, same chord progression that we're using for the whole entire song, E minor 7, C add 9, G, and D, but we're gonna change up our strum pattern. So what we're doing for our chorus strum pattern is we're gonna do down, down, up for the not underlined chords, and then for the underlined chords, we're gonna do down, down, up, down. We're gonna add that extra one down strum to the very end of the underlined chords. And that's it, guys. It really kind of fits in with the rest of the song. And that's it, guys. That really is all you need to know to play this song. It's really fun, really easy song to play. Great song for beginner guitarists to play. So a couple times all the way through the chorus for Wasted On Me, full speed, should look about like this.
And guys, that is everything you should need to know to play Wasted on me on guitar. As always, if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments below. I'm usually pretty quick getting back to those. And again, if this video helps you out, hit that subscribe button. I have about 590 other guitar and ukulele lessons on this channel, and I usually try to post at least three to five new lessons every single week. So if you're learning guitar or ukulele, there cannot be a more perfect channel for you to check out. If you want to see a short daily preview of what song I'm teaching before I actually teach it, you can hit up my Instagram, at the Groovy Guitar Dude. Link for that will be in the description below. Guys, this is an awesome collaboration between two awesome artists. I really like both of these artists individually, so seeing them come together is super cool. And I've been trying to do a lot more BTS lately, so hopefully you guys dig that. I always am getting requests for BTS songs, so it was really cool to be able to see both of these artists come together and me be able to do a song that's by both of them. And it's a lot of fun to play, and it's pretty easy to play as well, so that helps. I had a lot of fun playing this. I hope you guys have a great time playing it as well, and I'll see y'all soon.